previously on Onboard Lifestyle. The basic crew settled back into life at anchor in Costa Rica's Bahia Santa Elena. With a quick dinghy ride to a nearby island, we had just enough time to cool off before my mom prepares another amazing meal. Basic sailed south to Puerto Culebra and my dad caught a fish large enough to share with the fleet. We anchored in Bahia Nacascolo, where we were promptly greeted by the local scam artists. Let's continue our story as Basic wakes up the next morning after a restful night on the hook. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Early the next morning, that is, after the howler monkey wake-up call, We had to officially check in to Costa Rica. The process is simple. Go through a marina and pay an agent around 500 US dollars or do the legwork yourself for free. We're traveling with two other cost conscious cruisers, so the free option was popular. The three captains took one of the boats across the bay to Playa Cocos to go through the process of checking in. Stop 1. Fuerza Pública Playa del Coco, where an immigration official bounces in and out of her office to issue travel visas. Stop 2. The Port Captain. This busy office will collect copies of all of your vessel documents, travel visas, passports, and exit pay from your previous country. Stop 3. A long bus ride to the airport to receive your temporary import permit, or TIP. Teal now has been gone almost 12 hours from the time he left this morning. Go across the bay and get us all checked in. Apparently it is a lot more work than all the other places that we've been. But we are now officially checked into Costa Rica. And well, meanwhile, us girls are just holding down the fort and getting some chores done. Yeah, my computer died when I was doing school <laughs> earlier, so I figured I'd hop in and hop into the water and uh, scrub the bottom a little. There's so many little fish. Well, the these water? are not little fish. These are like, and then I mean, <laughs> there's little ones like this big eating all the stuff off our boat. Wish they'd eat the barnacles. I hope there's no crocodiles. I know, that's why I was like, maybe it's time to get out of the water. I know, when all the big fish start scattering. <laughs> can do a little bit more. You're flirting with danger. <laughs> Always. Yeah, it was kind of funny. I was uh, a little paranoid because we are now in crocodile uh, territory, territory and then sea snakes. So at yeah. one point, Emma was, um, she was scrubbing and all of a sudden it looked like we were attacked by just major splashes. I'm calling for Emma. She's not answering and it was just fish, fish everywhere. I also jumped in, but uh, I, I had a little injury. Yeah. I didn't wear my uh, gloves. So that was, uh, yeah, a little sore. A little bloody, but it felt nice to hop in the water though. Yeah, it's it's a little warm here, but it's it was still pretty refreshing, and it was a good exercise too. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start getting used to all the animals and all the other critters and stuff like that. The bugs here are much bigger yeah. than in Mexico and even in Nicaragua. So we're already hearing the howler monkeys. They sound like 
Yeah, they sound crazy. <laughs> Crazy, you guys. It's uh, really freaks you out. In it the doesn't morning. make you want to go into the jungles, but I'm sure that they're nice, right? Yeah. But there's Anyways. a lot of animals here. There's I a saw lot. dolphins on the way here. Um, uh, but we still haven't seen my sloth, so not yet. Still looking. Not yet. Not yet. We'll see them. We'll see them soon. Anyway, so gotta wait for Teal to get back so we can have some dinner and kind of wind down. There are a lot of mosquitoes here, so we're heading yeah, back we're in. Gotta get back inside <laughs> soon. Well, this has been a nice little taste of Costa Rica. It's weekend, so the beaches are getting full. We've been here a couple days now. We just uh, picked a nice quiet anchorage to kind of get checked in, but we're a little far away from uh, everything here. We're on the other side of the bay. We need to go about, I don't know, about a mile and a half, two miles to the other side to get closer to stores and shopping and get provision before we get out of here. It's gonna be our last chance to get provisions in a while. But boy, this has been just a nice calm anchorage. The water's just crystal clear. Look at this. You can see our anchor down there, well, somewhere. I think it's buried over here, but we're in 25 feet of water and you can see the bottom like it's nothing. So we'll scooch across the, the bay here and probably post up over there for, I would say a day or two, just to get provisions and then kind of get out of this area. This is a real touristy area. A lot of, you know, jet skis and tour boats and dinner cruises. And we want to kind of get to a little more remote areas. So, but no complaints. Been listening to the howler monkeys every morning here. It's my first little uh, experience with those. I thought they were dementors just their big vocal howl in the morning. They kind of light up at five to six o'clock every morning. It's been kind of interesting. Okay, my dad just picked up anchor. Where are we going to next? Big day, big day. We're going right there. <laughs> Basically just straight across the bay. I think it's about a mile. We could almost just drift there. There's not enough wind up. Well, we might be able to sail, we'll see. Let's just throw up a couple sails, see what happens. envy of everybody with a working dinghy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Every time they zip by, I get jealous. We made it! That was a really, really long that was a passage. Rough passage, yeah. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be good to um, kind of check out the sites before we head out of here. And you know me, I gotta visit the grocery store. I love grocery sh grocery shopping. <laughs> we like food. In okay. case you didn't notice. You excited to be here, Compass? <laughs> <laughs> He's camera shy. Camera shy. <laughs> Wow, 
Well, here we are, Playa Hermosa. Just anchoring here for just a day. We'll probably leave tomorrow morning. Girls ran into town, uh, came in with a couple other cruisers. They all went together. They're gonna do a little shopping, get some provisions. I'm just uh, kind of hanging out, getting a few things done on the boat. You know, we got this sea of pongas out here. It's kind of packed little bay, but this whole end of the bay is, is pretty nice. The breeze feels good. Temperatures are warm. So we'll uh, mosey out of here tomorrow. It's a good day. Looks like we should have wind uh, in our favor. And we're not going too far, just 15, 20 miles down the coast uh, to another anchorage. And uh, kind of setting us up for a, a longer run on the following day. We'll spend one night there because the next day is like 40 mile day after that. Uh, we just want to make sure that uh, we're breaking this up as, as we start moseying south. I mean, we're not in a big rush. We just want to be comfortable, have a few experiences on the way and just kind of take in the sights. We don't want to just pass everything. But yeah, it's beautiful here. Costa Rica has uh, been an experience so far. Emma and I are on the hunt for some groceries. It's uh, actually been, it's been almost a month for true provisioning yeah. since we left Mexico. So Nicaragua, there's a couple of potatoes and a couple of things here and there, but really nothing. Um, we've been doing pretty good, but we are going to be heading south soon in the next day or so. And there's not going to be a ton and of stores. And from the sounds of our friends who were ahead of us, they said it is going to be slimmer and slimmer pickings and very, very expensive. So we're going to try to stock up as much as we can on perishables, butter, bread I mean I make bread but just kind of as much as we can I guess carry yeah we should uh, have stocked up because it is very expensive here so we're gonna grab a DD taxi head over to the local market which is uh, by even American standards very very expensive so far so good Emma and I are right, while we're, we're going there we're gonna be looking for uh, we're gonna be checking for uh, some sloths Howler monkeys, kawadis, you name it. We're gonna look for it. Man, there's howler monkey crossing right here. Only in Costa Rica. I think we are uh, fully stocked for, uh, for a little bit. Very excited. Every time I go to the grocery store, it makes me so happy. But this place has just about everything that you can possibly need. Uh, although you do pay a higher price. It is in the heart of the tourist area. So lots of expats, lots of Canadians, and apparently it's high season. So do not realize that. Uh, not that I'm complaining, I'm not complaining. You say I'm not complaining because you're paying three times what you normally pay even in the States. So it was a little bit of a sticker shock, but I also am happy that we found green onions, uh, romaine lettuce, uh, just, you know, all the things that we like, uh, we found. So, I think I checked off everything on the list. I think we got pretty much everything that we need and some fun snacks. Fun snacks. Of course, look at all this. We gotta get this all back to the beach and then get it back on basic. I think this is why I have you. My muscle. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Overall though, um, not too bad. And, you know, having another hand like Teal would be nice, but he is back on board making water because we are heading out tomorrow morning. Yay! I think we got a good haul. More? So to, no, yeah, to be honest, we totally should have got more stuff. Totally would have been able to carry it. <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a wet dinghy ride uh, back to basic. Not gonna show that one, but we are drying everything out. But overall, I think we did pretty good. We still have obviously some supplies on board, but 
you know, if you see something that uh, you think you might need, get, get it. it. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Well, good morning. Good morning. We're waking up pretty early and we're leaving the stop after just a few days. Yeah, it's kind of dull here. Yeah. It's uh, a little, little bit more touristy than I thought. Mm -hmm. But you got your groceries. We got Another checked groceries. in. We had to stop here for all that. And now uh, it's time to mosey on south. So yeah. short run today, actually. Just 15, 16 nautical miles uh, to Potrero. We'll uh, anchor in the northern lobe of, uh, I think it's called like sugar bread. So, <laughs> oh, that sounds good. I know it does. <laughs> so, we'll go check that out. Hopefully, it's not riddled with pongas like every other bay we've seen so far here yeah, in uh, it's Costa Rica. Crazy. You ready to go, buddy? I think he is. Emma, you taking us out? I, I think so. Now you'll have enough speed to start steering, hand steering. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Onboard Lifestyle. A special thanks goes out to our wonderful patrons whose generous support drives the production of our videos. Join our crew if you can. Now with the paperwork formalities for Costa Rica complete, the crew is free to explore this beautiful country. Come back next week to see Basic pick up the pace as we continue our trek. See you then!